Hey Turtle fans, we are back. This is Third Street Reactions. My name's Tom. Shane. And we are back with TMNT Season 3, Episode Number 13. Okay, in the last episode, the Turtles, they had to team up with... The Mutanimals? Muta Mutanimals, yeah. Led by Slash. Yeah. Who, he's proven that he's changed. And I think the audience has known that. I think Leonardo's kind of being a shithead. But I think the audience, we, we saw Slash yeah. in previous, at least one or two episodes before this that were featuring him. It's shown that he's changed, you know, man, person, mutant. And, and Leatherhead's a good guy, so um, I don't think he would align himself with someone like, obviously, morally ambiguous. Yeah. You know, I think he might be more of like a Batman. Like he might be beating the shit out of these criminals instead of like the Ninja Turtles. They were more, a little more virtuous. Yeah, no, it was great to see all these uh, characters kind of come back. You know, Kurtzman came back. Yeah. And so it was just, it was... And he's, and he's been injured, but he's not dead. But he's not dead. We had the Turtles go out, kick some butt. They were able to stop the rocket, thankfully. Drive the crane back. And maybe we'll get Casey in on the action now. Hopefully. We'll see. Yeah. yeah. But anyways, guys, before we jump in, if you want to support us, check out our merch. Wow. Also, guys, we have the full-length uncut reaction of this and all the things that we do on our Patreon. We also have up to four weeks early access. Now let's jump in. So do we even have a real plan here, or are we just winging it for laughs? It's all on the Mighty Mutanimals. Donnie's got his super retro mutagen stuff. That'll work. Right, Donnie? Heck yeah. And once we change all the humans back, Rockwell will hone in on us with the Krang portal and teleport us all back to Earth. Maybe? Yep, we're doomed. It's an awesome plan, Rap. I just hope the Mutanimals don't screw this up. If they can't get that portal open... <laughs> oh, Krang. Mutanimals! <laughs> oh, oh, Krang. Leatherhead is so cool. I love Leatherhead. Doc! Get that portal up, Pronto! Hacking in now. Hacking in now. Red! <laughs> Oh. oh, forgot about that. I would not want to go in there. Me either. So, those turtle freaks think they're going to my home turf? Forget about it! Does Irma have a nose ring? Looks like it, yeah. Welcome back to Dimension X. That's 23% better. Mikey! <laughs> Savage Mikey of Dimension X returns! They brought him back. Oh, yeah. Again with the costumes? Great, Savage Mikey. So, uh, where do you think the Krang are keeping all those mutated humans? I can sense them close by with my organic antenna. Well, beep, beep. <gasps> that way! You heard the man, Donnie. Full speed ahead! Yeah! We gotta keep that portal open for the sake of the city. It's impossible. They just keep coming, and we're getting low on sourdough. <laughs> <laughs> These Sasquatch-looking pranks is so interesting. We are in a staggeringly phenomenal amount of danger. Destroy the mutants. <laughs> no. Jeez. Not good. Is time passing differently here is a question. We're gonna think eight Casey. Yeah. Myself. Yeah. Whoa. I hate that baby face thing, dude. Uh oh. Yeah, me too. FYI, guys, crane worms' weak spot are their butt faces. Got that? <laughs> Under butt face. 
This just keeps getting worse and worse and worse. The humans that got Krangatized have been turned into servants and are mining energy crystals for the Krang. You never cease to amaze me. Yeah, Figure out a never way to turn the humans back. You've got to calm down. Do you, do you know any breathing exercises? It doesn't seem possible. Dude, it's the mighty mutanimals. The operative word being mighty. They got it all under control. Leatherhead, take down that robot now! Nice. Archer would hate that thing. Yeah. yeah. He's a crocodile, right? Or is he an alligator? He's an alligator because he's supposed to be from Louisiana, like and originally. He had like a Louisiana accent. Slash, you can't let them deactivate the portal. The turtles will be trapped in Dimension X. Yes. My friends. Oh! It looks like the Krang have human hybrids on those three islands. I mean, how are we going to turn all those mutants back into people? We just need to find a massive amount of mutagen and convert it into retro mutagen with this. Oh, is that all? I bet that thing has a ton of mutagen inside of it. A technodrome? Steal a technodrome? And how would we even get there? The blimp's a wreck. Borrow one of those stealth ships parked over there. This is so crazy. I'm starting to like this plan. All right, guys. This reminds me of Independence Day. That sounds like a great idea! Not this guy again. Prime Subprime returns! You like that, don't you? There's you lips. Like this? <laughs> ha! You missed! <laughs> Get this baby moving, D. I'm starting it. I'm starting it. I need more buttons to press. Just get this bird here already. Forward might be nice. Let me handle this, D. <laughs> Turtles have hijacked that stealth ship. What are the orders that Krang Subprime wishes to order as a order? I just <laughs> shut up already. <laughs> Do me a favor and unleash the Drago Droid! Drago Droid? Mikey? I've never seen that thing before. Brace yourself! Oh. Strap your shells on tight, bros! <laughs> uh, that, that thing's pretty cool. Yeah, it is. Left, go left! I've always loved dragons. That was like a technodrome, which we had in, I believe, the first season. I swear, once I break these walls down, I'll... It is useless, my friend. It's my fault we got captured. Maybe Leonardo sort of. is right. I have seen you save humans from the Krang. You are a good soul, Slash. Thank you, brother. But if we can't save the turtles, then all of the humans of New York are doomed. I'm losing it, guys. The walls too cramped. I have to go to the bathroom. Ah! <laughs> oh, He'll be able to get out of there. Oh. That was easy. Um, Raph. What? Pretty decent security. Turtles, attack! Is that like a pirate hat? Uh huh. Yeah. You ever seen a bunch of spiders like come out of like something like that? It's Harry Potter. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. Dimension X plus years of video games equals Mikey Awesomeness! Donnie, what have we got? It looks like we have access to their mutagen supply through this fuel tube. Not only do they use mutagen to terraform, they use the power of the ship. We've got a massive supply! Yes! She's moving! Let's save New York! What's Rockwell doing, Leatherhead? Without 
his psychic amplifier, his power is greatly diminished. It's working! Use the force. It's right? Thank Gus. Freedom! We have a visual on the human hybrids, Donatello. We need that portal ready to go. That's Give me two seconds. Wrong. I got yep. the retro mutagen. Something's wrong. What's going on, Donnie? Report. The technodrome runs on mutagen. Not necessarily. I just need to alter the ship's fuel converters, tweak the quantum defiblatrons, and voila. Mikey, you're a genius, I know. Waste of time! Get this thing moving! We have to save the humans already! Here's Krangy! Okay, Donnie, we need that portal open. Call up the mutanimals. Doc, you there? They're different. Anybody? They're different dimensions. Great. If the mutanimals can't transport us back, I just don't think that would work. Well, if we can transform the portal into a three-dimensional coordinate locked beam. Oh lord. Nice. Is she actually yes. dead now, finally? Is a go. Donatello, we are back online. 30 seconds until we teleport you home. Sending coordinates now. So I guess if that portal's open, they can communicate space. with each other. Man, look at them. They're forced to work like Cravarian ant people. Well, not much longer. Locked and loaded. Fire! Ah! this mess yet i'm just getting started turtles i'm coming for your sweet shells donnie we need those humans teleported out now <gasps> excellent i regard they couldn't breathe i just don't think those things would be adequate enough for breathing <laughs> teleportation y'all no way forget it you're not beaming my particles <laughs> Okay, let's start being part of the what if your air thing gets hit when you're fighting? That that's obviously a kind of a big thing there there as well. You gotta hold them up, Leo! I've gotta pilot this thing! There's one last island, Raph. Do we have enough retro mutagen? Down to ten percent! That's it. That's all the humans. Leo! Leo! Yeah. Good save. Phoenix, turtle, scum. <laughs> nice. No! It can't be! No! <laughs> I was so close this time! So close! Oh, Krang. <laughs> Boom. So, Subprime's probably dead. Uh, Port armor. <laughs> oh, what do you know? Why the hell did Splinter help? <laughs> we did it. Somehow we did it. We're the best. Go, Ninja. Go, Ninja. Go. You gotta find your dad. <gasps> there he is. Everything is going to go back to normal. What about the mighty mutanimals? What about us? Leatherhead! My big green buddy! Looks like our plan worked, Doctor. Yes, and teleporting the Krang back to Dimension X was a stroke of genius. You gotta admit, Leo, we couldn't have done this without Slash and his team. You did great, Slash. I'm sorry I doubted you. Everyone deserves a second chance. That's right. I just tried to model myself after the best leader I ever knew. You. Yeah, very Turtles, respectful, even though he, I would say he almost doesn't deserve it. Guys, that was part two of that little mini arc, and it's kind of ending a bigger arc, which is Krang's occupation. New and, York, yeah. Um, you know, after their invasion of New York. They did commit two episodes to it, but I guess because I'm kind of obsessed with aliens, I, I think it would be a little harder than what they did, but I think it made sense in the continuity of the show. Yeah, and the time allotted and for what they've allowed us to know about the Krang, their strengths and weaknesses and their technology, yeah, I think it I think it worked. We didn't see time pass by for the mutanimals very much. Mm -mm. Okay, so how long were the turtles gone in Dimension X? Well we talked about this before, remember, so think I think of 
Interstellar. Yes. Right? When they start splitting off to accomplish their missions and everything, and they're gone, like, what was it? Like, a couple hours? And he comes back, he's like, how long have you been waiting for us? Like, he's like, 20 years or yeah. something like that. Yeah. It's crazy. Yep, it, it is crazy. So when you're there, you're experiencing time, years and years go by. But back on Earth, it's it's going by much slower. Right. So were they there? How long were they there? Because well, we, so we see the mutant like... animals going back and forth. It makes it seem like they're there and they're there. And, it, you know, like they're there and we're here. And time is passing, you know, the same way both sides. But we know that's not the case. I think Would they be, like, really old when they came back? No, because if we're following the turtles, time is passing normally for them. But when they got back, it'd only be, like, 30 seconds later. Mm, I see what you're saying. Yeah. But Leatherhead was there for... You know, it felt to them it felt like months, but it was actually you know he said he was there for decades. That'd be awful. Yeah. So it's you know I think they, you know they kind of conveniently avoided bringing that up again. Which is I mean it's okay, you know for for what we're trying to accomplish in the overall theme of getting rid of the Krang. I mean I'm not that's not gonna detract from the coolness of the episode for me. Yeah, and we got to see Savage Mikey again. That was cool. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like, um, I guess I thought Casey and April will be a little more involved, I think? Definitely Splinter. His ass doesn't do anything. <laughs> we, we've discussed this several times. Yeah. You're like, yeah, I don't know. I guess the only excuse I could really give Splinter this time is he's still kind of trying to mentally recover. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's not. It's only been, what, a couple episodes ago and he was still this wild carnal rat running around in the sewers. Absolutely. So, um, you know, Tommy, I mean, it's a cartoon. It's a fast pace. They just got back to New York, and the time they were here, they saved Splinter. They had a, you know, kind of a mini victory against Shredders. Got their asses kicked by Roxanne Bebop, and then saved New York, you know? Yeah, and they, they have a little bit of a better understanding, I think, of, of Karai and what's going on with her, mm -hmm. instead of just not knowing anything. So. Yeah, uh, and we didn't visit uh, Karai and Shredder in this episode, so God knows what they're doing. They're obviously planning their revenge, trying to cure Karai. So I guess going forward, I'm wondering, will the Krang ever return? I don't know. I, I really have no idea. Uh, because it's one of those things where I feel like there's other threats in Dimension X. I know that. I also know, like, Shredder's obviously the main foe, you know, and he's not going away anytime soon, but, like, I'm just wondering where they're going to take the story after this. Is it just going to be sh number Shredder more? But that's kind of... We've been experiencing that for a while. Are they going to be able to continue doing that and making it interesting and feel fresh? Right. We'll see. Uh, obviously, Cry try to find a way to transform her back to human. You know, we get, I mean, hopefully we can be able to do that. Maybe the new method of creating this anti-mutagen, maybe that's going to work for her. We'll see. But it was a pretty big episode. We got the rest of season three, and then we have season four and five. So uh, we'll see where it goes, guys. Very good stuff. Um, if you want to support us, check us out on Patreon, and uh, leave a comment down below. We're out of here.